uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see that in this video we will go ahead as uh, set up a project uh, let's open visual studio 2022 we'll create a new project we'll select plan solution you can type on the top to select if you don't see it here and then click on here then click on next uh, just keep the name of the solution e-commerce e-commerce modern application <clears throat> click on create uh, now, now we have the solution name under the solution we'll go ahead and create a class library uh, select the class library and then click on next I'll put this class library name database access click next uh, let's select .NET 7 create so now we have database access I don't need this class I'll go ahead and delete now we'll go ahead and create another pro another project under the solution uh, keep next put it model I'll keep this model classes okay uh, let's click next this is also on .NET 7 done so now here I will go ahead and click another new project and this would be ESP.NET 4 web application. If you type here web application, you can select this look for it ESP.NET 4 web app model view controller. You can select C sharp. You can see this is one that you have. Uh, let's put it uh, Jahi Tech web click next dot net and then i'll put the authentication since we're going to have an identity plan uh, i think we're going to use identity in this uh, website as well so this is i'll select individual account so here create all right now we have the project here so we have database access uh, folder we have web folder and then model folder so under this database uh, library uh, will have a uh, database connection and then under this Jahi Tech web we will implement all the controller that we need for this website and then you see every controller will have view and that will be appear under here and then whatever the model or whatever the classes we're going to use we'll define them here and then from them we'll, have, uh, we'll access all those classes and dependency from, for, from this folder. All right, I think uh, this is the initial setup for this project. Uh, we'll go ahead and start our coding to set up the database under the database access class. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.